Okay, so the first Satori started in 1987 and I thought I was going to wake up. I thought the awakening was going to happen because I experienced myself as the universe and it didn't. <laughs> but I knew clearly that I wasn't an ego and I wasn't the body. That was really clear and that there was something greater that I truly was but I wasn't knowing myself as that. And so I decided to change the way I lived because I'd been a businessman up to that point running a successful publishing company in Fremantle. And so I walked in and I gave my company to my staff. And I walked out and I walked around Australia for four years as a bum looking for <laughs> enlightenment. And in that process I started to experience heart and then I realized that there was something else here besides enlightenment. There was something very beautiful and that was heart. And that heart could also be served. And when you decide to start serving heart, you recognize that you want to help everybody. You want to be in service. And so I went back to school and trained in naturopathy and psychology so I could have some tools to help people with. And I was in service until enlightenment. My life was just to be an instrument to help other human beings out of their suffering because I found that a beautiful way to live. And then a teacher came to town and uh, just me coming into the presence, awakening occurred again and the fire came on strong again and the totality was there to surrender everything, to throw everything on the fire, to hold on to absolutely nothing, to let it all go. And after maybe a thousand Satori's and about a year, I woke up one day and it, there was no I. Just a vast everythingness or nothingness, whichever way you want to put it. And it's been like that for the last 18 years.